All right, guys, you got the cue cap. I know you guys have been wondering where I'm at. I keep getting strikes everywhere. Open up a TikTok, which why I was highly anti TikTok. Um, but I seen it as a possibility of an outlet to put out a message. And part of that message is um, what's going on. I know you guys have probably heard about the Biden ban on Russian ammo and everything steel case, the only thing available to protect the Americans has been removed out of our hands. Now they turn around and they give $29 billion worth of ammo, equipment, and weapons to the bad guys and leave us with nothing to protect ourselves especially the ammo why is that does that not seem like a setup to you why disarm the American people the frame comment period is over they want to stop people from building guns at home. They want to take away your ammo from you. Because places like Chicago don't know how to act. And people get shot all the time. But Chicago is one of the most gun-restricted places in the world. And it has the highest shooting rates in the country. As we all know... There was a shooting, I mean, a uh, three explosions. I don't know if you know, there was a total of three explosions at Kabul Airport, Afghanistan. We have left American people over there. And it's not just American people, it's just, it's, it's people. Doesn't matter. Cut yourself. You bleed. What color is it? It's red. We all bleed red. And they left them over there. Marines have died. And yet, I shared video of what happened on the ground on TikTok. If you're interested, it's the QCAT. Same name as it is here. On TikTok. It took all but three minutes to get a strike. They are reporting, oh, it's just 39 dead. There were hundreds dead. Hundreds Okay, I can't share it anywhere because nobody will let me. Why is it that social media has the right to restrict the freedom of information that people need to know? People want to know what the hell was going on. Every time I find something, it's from people on the ground and I can't show it. Every time I show it, I get a strike. It's fucking annoying. Walmart's become a communist supermarket. You go in there, they have nothing. They don't have sheets. They don't have towels. You can get toilet paper. You can't. Can't buy bullets. People, it's getting bad. There's a subliminal message in this. Since you can't buy your steel case, or if you can buy it, about a month and a half ago, I bought a thousand rounds of 762 by 39 repacked by Baronol, which is Russian. <coughs> and just for informational purposes, people that think Baronol is garbage, Baronol is the manufacturer that went into play during the Second World War making Tokarov ammo. And they were tested out by shooting out the windows, aiming at the angry Germans trying to kill them. Okay, Baronol has been repacked. That is actual military ammo. It's like for the military guys, you get the little, you know, the, the white boxes, just plain Jane, it just says the caliber. Yeah, Baronol does that. <coughs> if you're looking for ammo, you need to find a Type 6. Or you can do what I did here. Name says it all. 
and it tells you what it is. That's 500 rounds in the case. And if you're wondering about the size of the case, I went to Harbor Freight, like I do for all my other ammo cans. I got a 50 cal can, 10 bucks. That'll hold the 1,000 rounds easy. I also managed to catch the day before the ban went into effect 500 rounds of steel case for 219. Hasn't been shipped yet. I'm wondering what the hell is going on. But if you need ammunition, LAX, or just search up Type 6 FFL, and those guys are remanufacturers of ammunition. If you reload, you know you can't find primers. You're kind of stuck buying what you can get. Don't look down on the bar of no ammo. Don't get stuck out there. Don't get caught with your pants down. You know, this ISIS K is a is a new flavor of I want to get another strike. It's another flavor of idiots. Okay? And they say that the other bad guys are not are, are not bad enough. Okay? So until heads are rolling in the street, I don't know what's gonna be bad enough. But if you think that something bad is not coming, man, everybody is saying things are getting bad. If you have not been into a supermarket or Walmart or anything to that effect, and notice that everything has become a communist supermarket because you can't find nothing, then you're sleeping. And if you're sleeping, then hell, sell your ammo to somebody else that can use it. You can stand on the porch with dildos and spatulas and fighting off the bad guys. It's that simple. Guys, um, I'm here. I'm trying not to get strikes. I don't know how long this will stay up, if I get a strike or not. But uh, TikTok, I've got automotive stuff over there. It's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah. Guys, be safe. Carry a weapon. And get some flashlights. That's got to be my advice right now. Most of you guys are, are, are already prepping or, or, or can see what's going on. Get some decent flashlights and rechargeables. That's the way that I went. Some people may argue and that they may cause a big debate. But man, it's getting bad, people. Be safe. Get the QCAT.